Well, hello everyone. This is the first video for our brave new world of Civil 1112 online. So uh, we're gonna do the best I can. As you've seen from my earlier emails, there's no more labs. So projects two and three uh, report and presentation are gone. Check the syllabus and the email for the revised uh, grading scale. Uh, we'll just have homework, which we'll continue to do uh, problem Problem, sorry, project one, the midterm, which you just had yesterday, and then we'll have our final. Uh, since we're not gonna meet, I won't have a, any way to review the midterm with you. Uh, so we'll just have to do the best we can to move on. So today's video is to get you ready for the next homework assignment, which is assignment number eight. So I'm gonna switch off the video here and share my screen with you. There we go. So hopefully you can see me in the corner and um, we'll go to the website. So if you go back to our new website, or our website, you'll see I've added a new link here. There's gonna be videos available. So if you were to click on the video link, uh, you'll see that I'll have this video that you're seeing attached here. And as we move along, I'll have these uh, ahead of time for our classes. If we go to the homework, uh, you can see because we've missed a week, uh, I've decided to omit homework number nine. Uh, so we'll do eight, which will be due on Tuesday. And that's not too much to ask because it's just a, um, really a combination of putting six and seven together. And I'll, I'll walk you through that in just a few minutes. And then starting next week, we'll cover some new material, uh, which will lead to homeworks uh, 10, 11, and 12. So we'll go back home. Again, just to show you the video section. Also, I'll continue here on the class notes to published the static version of the PowerPoints. Uh, if you wanna look at those and uh, homework problems, I'm sorry, uh, class problems, uh, but then I'll put the videos uh, here. So let's go look at uh, assignment number eight, which will be due uh, next Thursday. It's got three parts. Uh, first part is to uh, get the data from week one, which I've posted here as you can see. Uh, and that's the data from each of the labs. Remember, that's the first week data. And um, compute the cost-adjusted strength-to-weight ratio for those and make a plot. Uh, basically, you want to plot or average all the zero bars, the one bar, the two bar, and the three bar data, and make a plot uh, similar to the ones I've shown you uh, previously. In fact, if you go look at the uh, project page, um, you'll see that in project two, I had the data for spring 18 and 19, and these are the plots for that data. I want you to generate plots similar to that using your actual data from spring 20. So that's the first part of the problem. The second part, which we'll focus on the day, is how to build the spreadsheet. But I want to go ahead and go down to part three, which is quick, which is uh, just a link here to a midterm survey. In fact, if you click that, click it, it should take you to UM soft uh, survey and you can start taking a survey about the midterm. And I also sent you an email uh, from UM survey that would also have a link. So complete that. Um, all you have to do is just um, put your name and answer it quickly and you'll get full points for that. I won't look at any of the data till uh, the semester's over. So the focus of today's video is how we're gonna build this uh, new spreadsheet. And really this is the um, two things you'll have to hand in, a spreadsheet with the calculations for week one data and the graph, and then this spreadsheet. So let's get started. So I want to get the uh, spreadsheets from six and seven and get going. So let me, um, Put this down and I'll open up my folder and go to where I have my spreadsheets. Let's see. So here I'll open up uh, six. So here's my spreadsheet for assignment six. Looks like mine's a little out of date uh, with my home version. I'll make a couple of quick changes to that in just a second. So you might recognize um, this. 
the uh, non-air train. There's our typical assignment six, which is our uh, ACI mix design. So I will um, put this one over here to the side. Oops, there's six. And then also I'll now go back and get assignment seven. So now I've got six and seven um, up and going. Let's, let me just try to manipulate this window out of the way. All right, there we go. So what I'm going to do is um, start with assignment seven, and I'm going to make a copy. So I'll go full screen on that one. So here's assignment seven, the one you just handed in uh, two days ago, a couple days ago. So I'm just going to go up here and say save as, and I'm going to uh, change that to assignment nine. So nothing's really changed except now you'll notice it's called assignment nine. Now in the background, I still have assignment six open. You can see it's here. So what I want to do is I want to, I want to add those parts to it. So I go down here in my tabs, I can right click, and this is something new. So now we're going to um, do move copy. I'll move this over here where you can see it. Now you can see I've got two spreadsheets available to me. I've got six and the new copy nine. So I wanna go, um, I wanna make a copy and I want to go from book six, which is the ACI mix design for non air and trained, and my mix design tables. I want to get those things in here. So I'm going to move that to uh, I'm having troubles here. Let's see, let me think about this. I want to move to book nine. Huh. Oh, I guess it's because they're not open. Let me see if I can figure this out. I always get a little confused. Probably you are too. Try it this way. What if I take, I'll click on my non air and train tab and my mix design tables. I'll right click and say move copy and I'll say copy. And now I'll pull down assignment nine and I will move those to the end. Say okay. So now if I look at my assignment nine, you'll notice that now I have not only my rectangular beam analysis and the rebar data, but now I have this ACI mix design and that. So you can watch the video again, but what I did was I went to assignment six. You can see down here at the bottom, I selected the two tabs I wanted. On those tabs, I right clicked and that's where I did move copy. Said I wanted a copy, made sure I said, hey, let's move that to nine and then move it to the end. So with that done, um, I don't need six anymore. I'll close it down. So now I have all the pieces I need. So here I am in assignment nine with um, all the all the, the pieces that I have here. Now the main thing I want to do first is I want to connect this piece that you can see here, the 6,000, the strength of the concrete. I want that to be connected to my strength over here. So really I want to move that out of there. So what's the best way to do that? Well, what I can do is come here and make this my pull down menu for strength. So you might remember if I want to make this something that I can select, uh, we do data, 
uh, data validation. I'm looking for it. Is it hiding behind my head here? Oh, it's formula. Nope, it's data. Where did it go? There it is, data validation. And I'll do a list. And my value will be strength. So now you can see I have my pull down of all my strengths. Now, why did I know it was strength? Remember that we had that data defined or that uh, variable name defined as part of the ACI mix. If I split, click over there, you can see I still have that. So I want to remove it from the ACI table and be able to set that over here on the beam side. Now to do that, my mix design is going to do what? Well, what do I need the strength to look up? You might remember I need it for my water cement ratio. So I think the easiest thing to do right here uh, would be to just select that material and we'll just delete it. Oh, change that again. I'll, I'll delete. I'll delete the row to make it a little cleaner. No, I'm sorry. I'll delete it using. Um, Go back to font, oops, sorry, sorry, home, and go over to clear and we'll do clear all. That gets rid of everything. And I'll just tidy that up. I'll put my uh, box around it to make it nice. And see what's happened. Um, I don't have my lookup anymore for this. So if you look in the concrete formula, see, I'm trying to look up the strength. B24. Well, I just deleted B. I just deleted B4. So I don't want to look up B4 here anymore. So I'll just delete that. What I want to do is go back to my rectangular beam and I want to click on this value. Come on, you can do it. It's not letting me do it for some reason. I'll try that again. Oh, it worked that time. Um, hmm. That was interesting. I don't know why it's not letting me click on this. Okay, I, I did something. Well, it worked. I don't know what happened. Let me, let me go back and look at the cement again. So rectangular being around C14 and I want C. I don't know why it's not letting me click it. Maybe I was uh, had it in some strange mode. So let's try it again. So we'll go back here. Delete that just to make sure you saw it. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do my V lookup by going to this one. Okay, this time it worked. A little strange, but we'll go through that again. So what I've done is I've replaced the first argument in VLOOKUP for our cement work right here. I'll highlight it so you can see it. That used to be this uh, cement value up here, the strength value up here, which I deleted. So I'll delete it out again. And I did that by clicking back to the table and clicking on the strength there. See, it automatically inserts it. And everything is calculated together. And that's it. We're done. So now we've linked those two sheets together. So now I can enter all my information about the beam here and it'll do the calculation. When I go to do my concrete strength des design, it will pull that strength from the first sheet over here and we have the data. Okay. So what do we really need to do else? Well, according to this, I need to add cost. So I need to come over here and compute cost. So we're gonna to need to add this section here at the bottom for cost. So what I'll do is I'll stop here, uh, let you work on that, make sure you have the two sheets connected, and then we'll come back and uh, add the cost component to it. So take a quick break. 
Uh, make sure that you've uh, got the two sheets talking to one another and that the data seems to be the same. And then we'll come back and add cost. All right, I'll see you in just a minute.